All right, hello and welcome everyone again. My name is Yuri, also known as Starlord. And welcome everyone. The continuation of an ongoing playthrough series of a game called Undertale. This time around, we proceed with our path in order to find what is the second ending of the game. On yesterday's stream, we have gotten ourselves the neutral ending, the one where we had to fight Flowey, Flowey the flower. And this time around, utilizing that flower's advice, if we want to get a better ending, you will have to like reload the previous save and do the specific thing that we haven't done. And that's exactly what are we going to be doing now. We are going to try and get ourselves a better ending and see what it's going to be like. Now, I know that this ending that I'm going to get, I mean, the one that we are going to get today on this stream, is going to be named True Pacifist. This is why my uh, stream name is called True Pacifist Ending, as well as I'm pretty sure that we are going to have time left on today's stream, and we are going to be starting the one, the second playthrough, which is called We Kill Em All Run, which is your genocide run in this game where you show no mercy to this world's inhabitants, bosses, monsters, etc. We'll see how it's going to go, but for now, let us continue on. Once again, no spoilers, guys, just like the uh, text section is mentioning no spoilers and the title says no spoilers, so please, no spoilers. Have fun, utilize chat points that you accumulate while watching the stream, while doing certain actions, utilize Twitch bits and tips, additionally utilize the subscriptions or the Twitch Prime subscriptions for getting some cool bonuses and stuff, and just have fun, ask questions, express your thoughts and opinions, and enjoy today's show. So in the previous stream we have already collected one of the keys and this is why on this door you see that the red one is glowing, which means we need to find green, yellow and blue. I hope that we will not gonna have some boss, boss encounter like Flowey the flower, because it was closing the game on me. I guess it's a feature, but... The first time he did it, my stream lagged out and I had to reboot the stream, which was inconvenience at its finest. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening, I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. So basically, Alphys, together with the king, they wanted to create we create a demon with a powerful soul, the soul which will not going to expire after the demon is dead. Entry number 13. One of the bodies open its eyes. Ooh, really? It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Well, we are not going to lie on it. This place looks like a morgue or some kind. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were gunners. A bunch of beds. And only on one of them we can lie. some mirrors. Entry number 7. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. 
After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Ooh. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Ooh. Some creepy monster. Mystify, hum, pray, well, a lot of different options. It's something mysterious. Recognizes it more to learn from this world. This time enough? What? Oh, shit. Hmm. You hum a familiar tune. But no one heard you. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Wash your hands, nothing happened. What the? It throws some heads on me. Okay. What about prey? It again throws butterflies, or whatever it is. Looks like butterflies, but it can be also some weird things. Oh, the floating heads. No! Man, it does so much damage. One problem that I had with the pacifist run thus far is that your HP is so low. It's like, whoa. You get, you get killed quite easily. Someone finally gets it, Ribbit Ribbit Courage. Hold up a second. So... Let me get this straight. They are... Those monsters do, that we fight here, they are the product of all of those experiments. And I guess Flowey is also the product of those said experiments. Cold. That's all you can read. Mm, but I do not have a key. I still need a key. And unfortunately the key is not here. And what if I lie on the bed here? Let's check it out, what, what's going to happen. Nothing. I just laid on the bed and nothing happened. Okay, we have yet another place to check in. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I send the souls back to Asgore, return the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I will send everyone back tomorrow and a smiley face. Cold, yeah, so this place is about cold, so probably here is the blue key for that switch that we found. Now that Metatons made it big, he never talks to me anymore.
except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Sure thing. It's a ventilation. What the? Ooh. Oh. It's the amalgamate. Oh, but I did. Oh, I have a stick. Thank God I, ha I have the, st the stick. And I won. <laughs> okay. What a battle. Hmm, but still no key. I guess I did something, but I still didn't get the key. Okay, I read already this thing, so this one I need to read. 16. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, what's this? Even more paths to go. <laughs> what a trap safe. Seems like sweet lemons. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Its body is shaking. Welcome to my special hell. Oh, what the? Seriously? We have Scream and Unhug. heal up, just to not waste another healing item that I might need further on, because I do not know how long is this lab. I still only found like one key, and that's pretty much it. This place is a mystery. What is this? There is a green key. Yes. So I got the green key, but I do not remember if I met the green door. Here's the yellow one. There is a VHS player with a few tapes picked out base. They seem to be labeled as a specific in a specific order. Will you watch one? No. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like as Glorus watched them. I don't think he should. Okay, let's watch some tapes. Favorite vegetable? Carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Adamami. Now if I wear a dog... 
What breed of dog would I be? Don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... A Meranian. Oh ho ho! You sure are excited to have this. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous... Mammedian. Okay. Whatever it is, there's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out under sheets. Okay, let's watch tape number two. Okay, Dini, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, he he he. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. What? Howdy. Smile for the camera. Uh, this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for that, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad, we made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I don't like this idea. What? No, I'm... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Can you hear me? We want to wake you up. We want you to wake up. You have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I. No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We must have... We just have to get six. We'll do it together, right? What the hell is this? It's some kind of a flashback story, but... DT extraction machine, stat status inactive. Wait, doesn't this thing look like when we fought Flowey? It's one of the parts of Flowey, the last boss that we fought. It does seem like it. Number 19. The family is kept, kept calling me to ask everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Refrigerator. It's empty seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Now, a monster that came out of a fridge. It's so cold. Something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy... It's so cold. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? 
What is this? What's with the music? <laughs> you told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha ha ha, I remember. What is this? Changes more. The hell? <laughs> He's completely calmed down. You won. And I got the blue key. Okay. Curtain. Yeah. So we got the curtain key. I mean, we already know that. And we also got the blue key. Now, one that is left to collect is pretty much the yellow key, which is behind something, behind some place. Probably has to do something with that room. With lots of bats. Yeah, we need only a yellow key. Yellow key, yellow key. Gotta find the yellow key. Bunch of beds. There's something under the sheets. Yes, there it is. On the plus side, there are pretty much no like your random encounters. Yes, so all of the keys have been placed. Now it's time to open the main door. In case there will be a boss fight, I am hoping that the boss... I mean that I will going to have enough of those HP regen items. Buy chips. How much do they regen? 13 HP. I'll buy one more. Oh, wait, what? Another elevator has lost its power. Oh, and here there is pretty much no power, because those screens do not even turn on. It seems like boss fight. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh boy. Look at this. A bunch of enemies are coming in. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they uh, do not get fat in time. I think they smell the potato chips you had and... Anyway, the power went off. And I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I say, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of um, these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to s uh, study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their soul would last after that. But the experiment failed. 
You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those cons concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far has been such a hor horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times when I will screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Yes, so I was right. They are the product of... Uh, experiments. That's why we heard, like, frog it and all that stuff. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of this garden, there is something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number... The flower is gone. 18. So Flowey was also the product of experiments. Okay. Dini, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into peace. See you soon. Oh, now what? What the? Where am I now? The door is jammed shut with vines. Hold up a second. This is the castle. I'm back at the castle. Yeah, I'm truly back at the castle again. Guess that's a shortcut. However, my biggest concern is going to be horse. Where am I going to get restock of items? I also wanted to see whether or not there is something new. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Locations are pretty much the same. So, Flowey was the first flower to get experimented on. And then after experiments it ran away. It all comes down to this. Oh well. Yes, we are getting closer to the second ending, which is the true pacifist one. Interesting that the first ending I actually got was the neutral one, despite the fact that I haven't fought anyone, I haven't ga gained any experience whatsoever, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. I wonder. Will this be the best ending? We shall see. Did here something changed? Probably not. Yeah, nothing did.
And the question stands, will I have to fight Asgore again? If yes, I'm going to have like two less health potions. Which is not really the greatest thing. Greatest achievement. And yeah, so this throne is the king's throne. This one is probably the queen's throne. And since the queen left the castle, the throne is empty. Yeah, he's here. The king has gore. This is the barrier. This is what keeps... If by any chance you have any unfinished businesses, please do what you must. Let's continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? I'll have to fight him. Yes. Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Okay, I guess it's the same kind of stuff that he... Wait, what? No. Oh! Now that's a new thing. What a miserable creature, touching such poor, innocent you. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I couldn't stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice to leave this place you would have to take in the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone live here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from humans, and come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <laughs> no, Asgore. Ah, Asgore? Human? Nobody fight each other? Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other? Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight alone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. It Asgore Shave? <laughs> they do not know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> and clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And uh, same. 
Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's been so nice to finally meet you. Your brother had told me so much about you. Wowie, I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Mm, snow proof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> Denied. Friend zoned. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about fish right now. Sometimes you just got to uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Oh, Metaton. <laughs> Will you two just smoosh already? The audience is dying for romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back. Wait. Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. <laughs> I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides... Uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you... How did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Oh. Oh. Now what? Oh, it's him. It's him. It's him again. You idiots. While you guys were having your little pow-pow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know what's the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here, and now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you, ha if you leave the underground satisfied, you win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you one million times. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I could, what I would do. 
believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too. Oh, all the monsters are here. <laughs> no! Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Oh boy, now what? Who is this? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Oh. Howdy. Dini, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel. It's Asriel, it's the one who... About whom we learned... Like from those flashbacks. It's the end. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you will take this round. The true final battle was finally begin. Was finally beginning. Holy sh... Oh man. And some awesome music is playing on the background. You know... I don't care about destroying this world anymore. That's some madness. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. After I defeat you and gain total control of the, over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. I will not allow this. Ow. Ow. Oh shoot. <laughs> well. Wait, but it refused. Also, I'm not dying. It's something like a checkpoint. I'm not gonna lose to you. Damn, he does tons of damage. Holy moly. Oh, pfft. Well, <laughs> come on. I refuse to lose. Oh, I dodged everything. Ooh. Come on. Oh, 
all your progress, everyone's memories, and bring them all back to zero. Try me. Then we can do everything all over again. I have to avoid baby stars. And you know what's the best part of it all is? You'll do it. Wow. <laughs> this is some madness. And then you'll lose to me again. Endless cycle. And again. You sure about that? And again. Wow, ten damage? Shush. Because you want a happy ending. So let me get this straight. They've placed the soul of Dreamer into that flower. Not the Dreamer, but the son of Dreamer here. Because you love your friends. Because you never gave up. Oh, man. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh man, now what? I'm almost dead. Even after that attack, you're still standing in the way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've been only using a fraction of my real power. Yay, the cliche villain phrase. You haven't seen. This was my f only one of my firms. Oh boy. Let's see what your determination is against this. Time for phase two, I guess. Yeah, now it's now it's serious, okay. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power. Oh, pff, then I'm dead. <laughs> That's because I have more like one HP. Come on. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Still you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments you'll forget everything too. 
That attitude will serve you well in your next life. What the? Come on. Man, it's just kinda hard. Still? Come on. Show me what your determination is now. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. They are in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Asriel soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you are going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Oh man, again this stuff. You refuse to fight the lost souls. Okay. Man, this is some this is something else. Like holy. Lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Feel something faintly resonating within Asriel. Now it's time to save some more. He seems to hate it. But the other lost soul seems to like it. No! Ah! He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. No, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Within the depths of Ezreal's soul, something resonating. Yes. A lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. I really like the way how they did this. When you free those souls from within this, like, monster by doing the stuff that they remember you've been doing back before, all humans will die. Yeah, the cooking, the slightly tap, and the other stuff, yes. Most certainly. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. <laughs> and the last one, Alphys. Oh. 
Man, the way how it's done, it's really good. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul stronger and stronger. It seems that there is still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? As real. Yes, suddenly you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? You feel your friend's soul resonating with Neon Asriel. So... What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Give up already. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tell you apart. Do you know why I'm doing this? Why I kept fighting to keep you around? Now he doesn't want to attack me. I'm doing this because you're special. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I'm doing this because I care about you. I care about you more than anyone else. More than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to live. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. Stop it! Stop it now! He can't kill me. Give up already. You just can't win. Feel the power of friendship! Oh boy! Give up now. I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Surrender. Your nightmare is over. I'm so sorry. And he's crying. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I? I know. You're not actually Dini, are you? She's been gone for a long time. Mm, what? What's your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, 
I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. Frisk? Am I Frisk? Was it Frisk? I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Peppers, Sans, Undyne, Elphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Forgive or do not? Of course we'll forgive. What? Chris, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's heart beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Now he's determined he's going to destroy the barrier. The epic music kicks in. Here it comes. I guess that's the barrier. And it's now finally destroyed. The barrier was destroyed. But I guess... He's going to die because he lost all his power. Risk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being to feel love again. So, Frisk. It's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. I don't want to let go. Frisk. You're you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Oh. My time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Risk. This is all just a bad dream. Please wake up. <laughs> oh, you are awake. Thank godness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just 
caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. <laughs> now, now. The important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It will make you feel better. Or how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what? I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. I guess they allow you to backtrack to say you know, the goodbyes and stuff. Hello Frisk, Alf has upgraded my phone. I'm now having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sense, check this out. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Were you not, Pepperus? We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we are huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Hey, Frisk. What's with the weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time the Frisk flirted with me? And then asked me to call her mother? Oh boy. Wow, Frisk. This is... This really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever? But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It's hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. So, Asgore. How about making me a member of a royal guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the royal guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? The journey all the way, and I'm still not a member of the royal guard. Truly? This is the worst possible ending. <laughs> so, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we are all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Uh, well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um, no, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Peppers has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an anime? Oh my god, Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Holy, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? All done. Uh, I think I have someone, uh, some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the uh, that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. Holy, where are those two robots? Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Psst, Frisk. I've gotta tell me, you've gotta tell me. Do you think Asgore and Toriel are uh, ever gonna get back together? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I hope too. 
Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gori. <laughs> my, my old boss and his ex-wife. That sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very sad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Yay! Can I backtrack there? You see the rooms with the, the soul chamber and stuff. But man, was this ending worth it? Of course it was. It's ridiculously good. In comparison to the previous ending that we got, that was kind of unfinished. Well, depending on the perspective, how you look at it. But this ending is one hell of an ending. We even figured out who the Flowey was. The thing that we didn't figure out was actually what was the relationship between the main character and like you name your main character at the beginning differently right and so you name the main character differently but at the end you see that the real name of the main character is Frisk. But... Ezreal actually... knows the real one, the real one. Like the one who you named before. Anyway, it was really something, something else. So now we are just gonna go and backtrack a little bit to see what new stuff folks have to say. Now that this game is pretty much finished, I mean this run of the game. We were hired by Metatron to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. Also, hello sends the bedtime master. Well, it's not really that I've been busy. <laughs> Yeah, but now we pretty much just have to see what NPCs are going to tell us now that pretty much everything has been done and everything is finished and then we'll see we will see what sort of stuff there is like at the end yep of course I did. It was an awesome adventure. It was really great. First of all, it was really great to beat an RPG game with a level zero main character without fighting, killing any monster, killing any NPCs, getting Basically two different endings. Yesterday got the neutral one. And then today the true pacifist one. Amazing. Go 
going back to where I first fell. Oh, that's... That's pretty long way, but we're gonna go there. Let's backtrack a bit. It's all the way from Sn from Snowdin to the left. Okay. Another great thing is also the fact that they allow you to just do those post end game like you finished with the final boss and you can now go all the way to explore different places where you haven't been yet in case you want and all that stuff. Oh we are free! Finally I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we are dogs. That stuff is normal. Ah, <laughs> of dogs. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay though. It's really brought our families together. Having and more of a shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's junior jumbo. Oh my, there is so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzas. How about... Top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big D end on the front and call it a day? <laughs> yeah, the end. I wonder if the overworld has hard guys and need drinks. Oh, I'm ready. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom too. Hey, people don't have to move in, in front of the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, guess it can be all punk peaches and punk cream. Punk peaches. Good job. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So, kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whiny of dismay. 
it finally won a game of poker against itself. Yay, he has been losing all game and now he won. I heard Dr. Uh, Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she's done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we do not have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing something. Some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. It'll be nice to show humans our present under the tree tradition. They'll probably be wired out by it. That kid over there told me uh, that it's weird that I have pet bunny. First, there's nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk, uh, to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Uh, is anyone else wired out by those giant shambling amalgamates or... Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Hello, sorry. No time for a nap. Snow Teen is shutting down, so we can all go to the surface. Yeah, much like they wanted to move to the surface, now they all are going there. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the other overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something, and suddenly everything was back to normal. I heard that, that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can, li I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decided to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were open from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Oh wait, isn't this that door with four shrooms? Let's check it out. It's pretty cool that they allow you to have this opportunity to just wander around. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There are so many people, someone has to, right? Yeah, with that hat you sure will going to catch attention. Everyone's leaving, huh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. It's a door. It's still locked. <laughs> oh well. How about if... Can I call different people? Nope. Dear Frisk, Sense and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. <laughs>
keep progressing. Let's see. More to the left. We are all free? Okay, okay, I'll stop left longing around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Yeah, revisiting all of the other areas we've been throughout this whole game. <laughs> I guess we'll all have to go to the surface. There are woods that we can live in, right? Oh, another one! Ha, after all this time you're still thinking about my head. Please? He's the same, but he's different color. This one's color is green. <laughs> it's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Seems like something tried eating and just gave up. about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers like 20 teen. <laughs> Keep being young. Stay young forever. I can feel that the piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm, the barriers open up. Hmm. Then, if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Dream? What? Heals 12 HP. Okay. It's another healing item. Snowman's Peace. Yay! Even the items that were found like way back at the beginning. I still have it. Have them. brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems very happy. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. <laughs> mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool, because uh, we are made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Showy. <laughs> and I'm almost at the beginning, almost. is opened.
So as far as the like in my impressions of this game, of my first walkthrough through this game, how do I like it? How it is compared like to other games that I played? Most certainly, this game is something else when it comes to like the stuff that I usually play. The stuff that is more about your well standard RPGs or Japanese RPGs, and something like this. You know, uh, I never actually got to play something like this. I know that pretty much this kind of games they are quite popular. And that they have their own big like fan base. I only will going to say this stuff that people should more people should check those game out. Because the amount of comedic scenes, the amount of comedy, the amount of uh, content, references, memorable characters, it's just, it's really, really darn impressive. And I am going to say that I am very impressed, very impressed by the way how this game is actually played. How you can play it without even getting any levels. How you can befriend pretty much everyone. Even your regular monsters also. Being a true pacifist, so to speak. And I honestly am going to tell that it's great in the fact that they allow you to do this stuff because it takes you from this cliche situations of you constantly like fighting against enemies, gaining experience and all that stuff. And we never actually thought about the fact that, well, we fight, we fight enemies and we are like fighting them, we are killing them, we are getting experience for many people it's like normal normal and stuff because you you do that pretty much all the time in RPGs or any other kind of game but what if what if let's say for example you could do something else like not fighting them like trying to beat the game without fighting them and here it's actually possible and this makes me appreciate that more and more because it's really it's really is something else the music in this game is awesome as well as the gameplay elements everything just sounds and feels so nice and so pretty that's Involuntarily, you start to you start to appreciating this like more and more, and to be honest, it's really it, it, it's great. It does feel feel you with determination. Yeah, let let's use this phrase and put it in our like situation. It feels you. Like determined. Oh, and look who we have here. It's Asriel. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of those flowers. Prisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Prisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Risk, why do you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb 
Abbott, Mountain Abbott are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why you cl why Dini climbed that mountain. It was for a very happy reason. Risk, I'll be honest with you. She hated humanity. Why they did? They never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. You really are different from her. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Dini wasn't real, really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Dini and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up the, their empty bodies. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one wanted to, that wanted to. To use our full power, I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Risk. This whole time I blamed myself for decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... Risk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had a wage war against all humanity. And in the end everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad, knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole time, your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are lots of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Risk. Don't kill and don't be killed, right? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. Don't you have anything better to do? Nope. Well, we've met him, and now pretty much we can go back towards where the others are. And hello to you too, Broski Yuri, I'm doing fine, I just finished and got the second ending for this amazing game that I thoroughly enjoy and recommend to everyone who haven't played this game before. It's not a very long game. It surely offers replayability. Lots of decisions that you can make, lots of stuff that you can do, as well as choosing the role that you would like to be. I, for example, did get two endings, one being pacifist neutral and the other one being true pacifist ending for a first time in life walkthrough 
this is a great achievement for me and I appreciate that I played this game, that I finally decided to play this game for the first time after so long since the release of this game. You know, sometimes games do not have... Games do not have this, how do you call it? They, they do not age. And this game aged well pretty much. It's a very good and enjoyable experience that everyone should be able to experience themselves so to speak. The game is not brutally hard. The game is actually quite manageable. Even when you go like level zero and stuff, it's not like you are fighting against unfair odds or anything. No, everything is manageable here. Lots of items to keep you company, lots of, like, puzzles to make you think. The battles themselves are done very, very nice, like, amazing stuff that pretty much every single enemy and every single boss in this game will going to have its own pattern of attacks that is going to be different, unique to those hit enemies and bosses. How you beat them will going to rely upon how you decide to play this game, whether you want to fight enemies or you want to befriend them. The choice is all yours. You have to get accustomed to timings and stuff to dodging those obstacles that can hurt you, projectiles that can hurt you. And even though I didn't... I haven't done a great job at this particular thing, but to me it still was amazing that I managed to beat this game. And... I think that more games in this similar fashion have to be made because it's a good thing that such games do play around those cliche situations and they played them so good battle cliches story cliches like even this like battle mechanics and stuff um when it comes to like you gain experience right experience here actually has a different meaning as well as another thing like level stands for love but it also stands for love for killing and that's where I was like what I was pointing out that usually when you play different RPG games you do not even pay attention to the fact that well I level up but how do I level up well, well I slaughter like hordes of inhabitants enemies and all that stuff and here they actually outplayed this cliche kind in kind of interesting way it's love L LV, basically your level, has a name of love, but it also has a meaning of love to kill, so to speak, love, love for murdering, and it's kind of interesting way to put things in a different perspective for you, for players to think well what it takes for the main character and for a player to level up this to level up his character like consequences of his actions in my opinion it's really well done and much appreciate that they've done 
all of that stuff. The next playthrough of this game is going to be done on, uh, of course, on the route that is set on the title of the stream. We finished with neutral and we finished with true pacifist. Well, we finished with neutral pacifist and true pacifist. And now it's time to be the bad guy, so to speak. Usually it's not really my style to play antagonistic in antagonistic way, but that's the kind of role we will be playing on our next walkthrough of this amazing game and see what sort of ending is there to get. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think I'll be really popular. Oh, I wanted to also speak with those vendors. So we are like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like cool. Millennia of being in prison finally over. Really? Mm, we, when we say it, mm, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity. We were just like joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catch a phrase. Really, it's though our catchphrase catchphrase was Brighty is the best, Getty is the coolest. Um, no. You, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? Now that we're gonna be free, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Katie. I don't want to have a dream without you in it. And my dream, in my dream, you clean up after the cat. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I love cats. They're like so cute. They're like so tasty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you ever saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I petted for like an hour. Yeah, I think that cat was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> All right. Now we can live life without reservations. So, if we are leaving, we'll match up, uh, and I just got a race. Well, guess every apple has its core, huh? The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Oh, we are all free? Oh, guess I can't stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so keep going. <laughs> Alrighty then. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests this time. Or ever again. Yeah, the design of that, like, 
monster with a hand, talking hand. Really? Trying to finish up the work. Alrighty. To the elevator and finish this up. Elevator is in use, so oh, okay. So pretty much everything was done. We haven't spoken with like every single living being. But I guess it's okay. Great thing that they allowed you to go for like getting one ending and then kind of reloading safe and getting another one. That was truly amazing, right? Enjoyable and with a lot of interesting stuff in it. And it's time for us to finish up. If you live here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Don't leave, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes! Yes, indeed, I'm ready. Ready? To finish with the cutscene. Oh my, isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better, better than I ever imagined. Risk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Well, not only you, my friend. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? <laughs> yeah, little girl ambassador. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador and I, the great Peppers, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. <laughs> Welp, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Epirus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Risk. You came from this world, right? No, I came from the moon. I'm a Lunarian. So you must have a place to return to, don't, uh, do you not? What will you do now?
What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other places to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone else is waiting for us. Boy, I'm... I'm thinking... If they would have made a sequel, what sort of story would they go with it? A prequel to this game? Or a sequel? Undertale 2? Or some spin-off? And as the credits roll, I'm going to yet again say that... I really appreciated this game. This game is something else. It really is amazing. <laughs> Especially those credits. What the? <laughs> okay. Had a lot of fun doing this playthrough series. My first time playthrough. The next will start pretty much right now. After the credits will going to end. Once again, I was praising this before and I'm going to praise this again. The fact that the game has quite a lot of uniqueness and it makes me appreciate how much work developers actually put into like doing all those like every monster Every enemy, every boss, they all have all of those <laughs> nice. <laughs> so they are finally together. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they have planned so much for this game. The music is awesome. And I'm the kind of guy who appreciates this sort of art style as well. So I'm not the kind of gamer who is like, oh well, if the graphics is outdated, well then the game is not really that good. Well, no. For me, graphics is... like I appreciate any kind of graphics. I appreciate the game more than just simple graphics. And I like this style that they went here. Another thing that I also like is the fact that you can play however you want. You want to beat the game without fighting anyone? Here, I did it. It is possible. Level 0, get your true pacifist ending, your pacifist neutral ending, and... Yeah, there you go. Like You kill several birds with one shot. Oh, wait, not, not kill. You catch. We are, we are not killing. We are pacifists. Okay. But... What also is there? Design of enemies and bosses. Truly amazing. Much like every boss will going to have their own mechanics and every enemy as well. Their design, all of them will going to be unique. They will be memorable. And you are going to dis uh, have a distinct. They will going to have distinct features, one from another, and it's great. And I really do like it. This game does deserve way more attention, even more than it did. Hopefully, a sequel or some kind of other game. That will going to be in the similar fashion. Because this game did great. Now what? Oh boy, what is this? Haha. <laughs> did you really think it was over? 
<laughs> I mean, we haven't even done the special things yet. Ready? Let's end all this for good. Special things. Oh, I have to dodge those. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can color them. Ooh. It's much like, you know, those in Devil May Cry games at the end. When the credits roll, you also can do some stuff there. In here also, something like this. But yes, going to say it yet again, that I am recommending this game to any one of those who haven't played it yet, but who is doubting should I play it, how is the game, should I give it a shot, you should. It's not a very long game, but it's a memorable journey that you will going to want to revisit again and again. And to me personally, more games of this fashion should be made. More people should appreciate games for what they are. credits <laughs> yeah they're showing how many how, how much credits have you touched thanks to friends and family for supporting us and entertain team thanks you the player from the bottom of our hearts without you all this would be impossible good night round of applause to the game itself and to the developers. And a post credit scene. The special pie from Toriel. The end. Amazing. Amazing, amazing game, amazing adventure. So I've said a lot about this game. It's time to do a short intermission and then hop into the second playthrough of this game to get a different ending, picking the different route this time around. <laughs> Even Doggy appears on the screen. Okay, so as for the intermission, hello and welcome to everyone, my name is Yuri, also known as Starlord, and I have just finished my first time playthrough of the game called Undertale. The game that I wanted to play for a very long time, yet only now I had the chance to do so. Appreciating this game from the bottom of my heart and want to give it another shot. I hope you, the viewers, are enjoying this show. If you've missed any uh, part of this playthrough series, you can revisit them on our YouTube channel. Link to that website is provided in each tab section. There you will find edited videos about different games, walkthroughs of different games, as well as our thoughts and opinions about those games that we've played, and some high stream highlights that we are making. So don't be shy, check those videos out, 
give them a like if you'd like them and spread them share them with your friends additionally if you want to keep in touch with all of the new information that we are giving to you you might want to consider following us on social medias links to those websites are also provided Do not forget that while watching the stream you will accumulate chat points that you can use to gain various rewards and you also can utilize bits, tips, cheers, subscriptions, Twitch Prime subscriptions or regular ones. You will get bonuses such as icons, emotes as well as bonuses for different other games that you might want to be interested in or you are playing them now, you will gain bonuses there with Twitch Prime subscription. And you can also utilize Patreon to get some exclusive bonuses, such as mentioning your name in edited videos, such as never before seen content, behind the scenes stuff, as well as content without any kind of advertisements. So that's that when it comes to the ways you can support us or the ways you can provide the stream with extra like entertainment and all that good stuff. With all that being said, I appreciate all of you who are watching the stream and we are hopping into our next altar of this game. Second one. So, how exactly am I going to do this? It doesn't seem like I can click on anything. Okay. So, I guess they want you to restart the game. Oh, well, hopefully, this time around, when I will go into restart, it will not go into do anything with my stream. In case it will, I will do a quick stream restart. In case it won't, then I won't. And we'll continue just as usual. So, give me a moment to reload this game. Okay, it did mess up the stream, so because of that, because of that, we will going to do a quick restart. Yeah, because stream is 